I'm Bruce Woods, the spokesperson with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service here in Anchorage, Alaska. And uh, this polar bear cub uh, is a cub that was abandoned up on the North Slope. Uh, uh, the service was notified by ConocoPhillips that the cub was seen alone in the vicinity of the Alpine oil field. Uh, it was a very small cub, a cub of the year. Uh, both Conoco and USGS did aerial searches to see if the mother was somewhere in the vicinity. Uh, during the course of those searches we saw no sign of any adult bears and uh, when some ground weather came in we were unable to see the cub. Uh, a couple days later the cub showed up at the alpine field and at that point uh, since she'd obviously been separated from her mother for some time uh, we made the decision to go ahead and capture her because she wouldn't be able to survive uh, on, her, on her own at, at this size. The people who captured her said that they could easily feel her ribs. She was she was quite quite thin for a cub of her age. Uh, since uh, since she's been down here, she's doubled her weight, and uh, as I understand, she's putting on about a pound a day. So I I haven't heard any final deadline yet, but probably within the next couple of months, she'll be heading for a permanent home. That I don't think that's been definitely determined yet. I know there are so, there are several zoos that, uh, that have expressed an interest, but it's. Uh, it's a process that involves not only the service, but our Washington office, and, uh, and I, I think it's the American Zoological Society as well. No, you know, uh, I think the folks at ConocoPhillips uh, had, uh, had given uh, an Inupiat name that I can't recall off the top of my head. I think it means little snowflake. And uh, there are several people at the zoo that are calling her everything from cutie pie to, to whatever. But I, I think the, the urge is not to give her a permanent name until she's in a permanent home.